What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my cub with me. What up? Shout it. So we about to get into the comments on Hollywood Unlocked. My whole point of talking longer in the last video was supposed to be uh, because YouTube be yellow marking me. But, uh, you know, God is great. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. I will be going out of town this weekend, and it will be a vibe. Also, follow me on Twitch so y'all can get into these streams. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um... And the mean in between, we about to get into these comments on, uh, what is this? Hollywood Unlocked. Okay? Let's get into it. <clears throat> Carlissa says, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray a healing over her heart like I never had before. Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You know I tried, Lord. The battle is not ours, Lord. Now, I ain't gonna lie. She did say she would never go talk about Krishan again. And here she is. All right, it's yours, and I repent on behalf of me and mine. Lord, please have mercy. Send your angels. Our parents left us empty, Lord, and I'm not trying to make us victims, Lord. I'm just saying uh, the thirst of the love of a mother is more than we can handle. Help her to fill her hole with your Lord love. Huh? Um, in Jesus' name, let the people say amen. Hallelujah. All right. Um, that was a good prayer. Who it came from, Lord, let everybody be with yourselves. But you know what I'm saying? She meant well. Come on, bro. Give me the comments. She meant well by it. Uh, next, praying for her. Can y'all stop giving her attention? As a mother, I have zero respect for her. How are you more loyal to a man than your child? This the same man talked about your child. Stop giving her slow tail attention. Now, I got to agree with the child part because any man, and I don't care if you played a part in this, you're not about to disrespect mine. What you got to say about that, good? I, I, I agree with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't care. You're not about to disrespect mine. Won't claim them nothing, and I get you on my face. I again, like you're everywhere. I even just covered one of you up and got another one, but this time on my face, man. Ain't that his uh jail picture? Yes, <laughs> mug shot. Yes, that's some temporary stuff, like you do. On a t-shirt, cuz. Right. You put it on your face? She could have got a hundred t-shirts that said, free my baby daddy. She could have made a song that said, free my baby daddy. Right. But you get it on your face, bruh. And you already got his name up here. When it come time to where she want a new man because he absolutely... It's not going to be bothered with her at some point. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how long we're going to be in this hell shit. But nobody going to want her ass. Real shit. Um, not on no wife shit. Ever type, yeah. Yeah. The disloyalty to her child is insane. Uh, I always ask myself, why does God financially bless people like this? But, when I th but then I think to myself, it has to be the devil because, bruh. Y'all, y'all really confuse this devil and God thing, and I clearly, I ain't, I'm not about to say I'm correct, but our story is already written, right? At least allegedly. With that being said, the people that make more money take the bigger risk. Sorry, people don't like that. It's the truth. Whether it's a stupid risk or you feel like it ain't right, whatever. People that take risk get the bigger reward. Period. I don't even think that has nothing to do with devil and God. I just think that's the universe. If you work hard, you get what you're supposed to get. Not only that, faith without work is dead. So with that being said, you got all this faith and you believe in yourself so much and you're not working, you're not going to get any money. Period. <laughs> selling your soul is a total different thing. This is a part of selling your soul. But... I'm just saying that's that's an example of the other stuff because some of y'all really don't get that. This right here, though, is absolutely uh, a part of selling your soul. And also, selling your soul is not a blood trans transformation. 
She's embarrassing herself on account of a dollar and her stupid ass baby daddy. That is selling your soul. Stupid ass baby daddy. All right. Um, within a 90 day span, she covered up a tat, tatted another man, then covered him up, then tatted this man again. Oh my. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Psycho. Like the, she tatted other cuz too? Yes. She covered up blue face that day. Then tatted cuz. Who she wasn't claiming for real. Yes. Deleted his ass. Now I got this on her face. I cannot the, make Is her this. father around? Huh? Is her father around? Her daddy is a huge piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Father. Not only that, he is alive, but he's terrible. Behavior. The way we see him act towards her, Blueface had to beat him up. Mm. And he deserved it. Um, something, Something's mentally very wrong. Please stop promoting this insanity. She needs help more than promotion. Nobody can help Krishan. Krishan wants... Krishan, that don't save her. She don't want to be... She don't want to be saved. And she make that very clear. And a lot of y'all will get upset about that. It's the truth. She, y- y'all think Krishan's slow. I absolutely disagree. What it is, is we we got to stop glorifying this stupidity. But where is glorification at? The, the fact that she's rich off of it. <laughs> she's not only rich, first of all, she's not only rich off doing this with Blueface. That's not the only, that's not the only form of payment she's received. Okay, I'm saying that's the gist of it, mostly. She got rich that way. Doing this stupid stuff. Nobody be talking about her if she was a regular person with no tattoos on her face and doing this stuff with Blueface. Right. Let me ask you this. If she... If she didn't get glorified or... Because you call it glorified is why I'm saying it. If, this, if, if she didn't go public and all of this wasn't happening, do you think that would stop somebody else from doing some dumb shit? If people stop glorifying it? Yeah. No. Because, I mean, let's be real. Uh, people glorify the stupid shit. Who was the Krishan before Krishan? I don't know. Also, people glorify things in, in this light because that's what rules the world, y'all. Drama, sex, money. I don't know why y'all confused. No, I'm just saying if that wasn't the things that ruled the world. we dictate, If it wasn't the thing that ruled the world. Okay. the stuff that ruled the world. Mm-hmm. And we, we allowed this drama shit to rule the world. And that's where you get the people doing the dumbest of the dumbest. Because Point they, taken on that. Ain't nobody getting a tattoo on their face if they're not going to get rich off of it. If we ain't going to be talking about it. Oh, shit. There's some women out here with they man. I'm talking about, it, it, I'm talking mm. about like. Blueface and Krishan. Like, she know damn well she don't need to get no Blueface taste tat on her face. I agree. Like, it's women out here that think they love their man and they ain't as bad as Blueface. I, I want to know why does, she, why does she feel like giving up her body tells him, I love you. Like, I, like why does that have to tell now him, that, I love you so much? That, I do think he tells her. Hmm? I do think he tells her that. Like, show me. Show me how much mm. you love me. What would you do for me? I do mm. think, and then she she feels that is one of the one the ways that I don't give a fuck about no. Mm. Mm. I don't give a damn about no other nigga. I put my I tattoo your face. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he was like, like I do cap. the craziest thing. What you yeah yeah? Cap. What you mean the craziest thing? I do I nigga I, I get your face tatted on my face. And he probably was like, Swear show God. me Man. what? That would not make me really do that Cause though. Because men, men not. As far as this extent, but men do test you and be like, I know y'all gaslight. We never show knew me. what it was called. It's called gaslight. Show me. That's so stupid. Bro. Show me. That's so stupid. That's how men receive love. Men receive love differently than women receive love. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. Y'all receive it by us telling you a lot. We got to tell you. Reassure me. Let me know. I want to hear it. I love you, babe. Good job, babe. You must, I love you, girl. You the only one, girl. That's reassurance for women. Us, show me you love me. Not necessarily get a tattoo on your face, but show me. Mm. Don't talk about it. Be about it. And she mm. thinks tattooing her face is being about it. Good point. Good point. That's that. It, it, somebody, kid just said manipulation is not love, which I agree. I agree. But and that I, is manipulation. Gaslighting like is that manipulation. Earlier. I said that earlier. He is very manipulative because I'm, I'm, he, I'm sure he's trying to see what he can get out of her. 
But like that's like a cuz that's like a video game. It is. It's fun. That's so video games up. are fun. You will let me do it. That's All right, so man. Go get tattooed on your face, bro. That's so trash. He probably in there thinking like this. Oh, so really? But that's why I it. always <laughs> blame the women. Yeah. And y'all get so mad at me for blaming the women, but bro, y'all know that they want to play y'all like PlayStation Fives and Xboxes. Not everybody. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Everybody will if you let them. <laughs> it's very seldom that a man will keep trying you if you put your foot on the ground. He be like, I, I can't do that. All right, bet. <laughs> I blame her for all this shit. No cap. Um, all right. Especially when it comes to sex. Man. Because men men will friends on you and FWB you until you put your foot down. Friends with benefits? What? If we could do that all the time, we would. I mean, hell, I would friends with benefits the hell out of a nigga too. You know what I'm saying? But niggas even gaslighting that. Until like I, do. I don't, I don't want to. I want a friends with benefits you, but I don't want to friends and benefits you because I don't want you to friends and benefits with another nigga. That. So I gotta gaslight you and say like, man, I swear to God, it's just you, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. I don't want nobody else, baby girl. So with that being said, you gotta be my one and only. As he's smashing her, 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 and her, too. Right. Because you don't want her, this one, and probably all of them, to be giving it away to nobody else. Cause I think that's the that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard of in my life. It is, but it ain't. Even you said it earlier, because y'all are penetrating. We're getting penetrated. It's a difference between the penetration and the But why is it that y'all get to do that? I don't I'm not condoning it. I always say I don't condone it because it's like if I'm gonna be the only one if you're gonna be the only one that I'm doing it to, then I should be the only one that you're doing it to. Right? Right. I agree with that. I mean, if that's what you gonna if that's what you want me to do. Right. You want me to hold it out, you hold it out. Right. I agree. But it is still different. Still different. Oh, on the pen, on the penetrating, penetrating and the pen, yes, and he's absolutely correct, that's and that's where the double standard comes from. Right. All right. Agree on that. Um, us having to witness this is sick. Sick ish is crazy. Everybody come to the front of the congregation as we pray for Sister Rock. Matter of fact, we should call her alter ego, Sister Rock. Sister Rock. You like it? Somebody said Rocky earlier. I seen that in the comments. Rocky. Rocky. I like that too. Rocky is crazy. <laughs> Rocky. Um, what he telling her on them calls, okay? The other girl won. I don't know her name, but she won because... All right, they talking about Jaden. She's been an Obsession fan, and y'all turned her into a celebrity. Yes. Damn. Thank you. Great comment. Was same thing that I was saying earlier. Same thing. What? About the... Of what we glorifying, yes, and making that stuff famous. She was, she definitely was. I guess a, a lot fan. of people that we can name that really not supposed to be famous. I mean, y'all can't say who's supposed to be and who not supposed to be famous. Like I say, niggas not going on TV to get their ass beat or whoop no ass. Niggas will barely have a fight outside. Right. So if you're not willing to take that chance on whooping somebody ass, because don't forget that's how it started, y'all. I can't let y'all throw her under the bus like that. Don't get me wrong. She was a fan of that nigga. And she was trying to act like she wasn't a fan of his ass. Um, however, she did not instantly like want his meat. She didn't go to him wanting to fall in love with him or do it to him. I just think that she wanted to get on TV. I think this nigga is the one who got up in that box and he didn't want to get out of it. Oh, so I don't see. I don't see. You see what I'm saying? I don't know their history. Let me give you a quick synopsis. Because I do remember, I do remember them showing a picture of her when she used to run track or something, mm -hmm. and she was like innocent looking and just like, never innocent. But crazy. she was innocent looking. You right, you did say innocent looking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she wasn't ever innocent though. She, she was whooping ass then. Krishan mm -hmm. been whooping ass. Mm -hmm. However, she was very athletic. She wasn't on no drugs. Uh, I don't even know if she was smoking weed. I'm not sure, but she wasn't drinking for sure. She was just crazy. Yes, that, but she grew up with that. Her whole family. Crazy. Yes. Yeah, okay. All the all her sisters older than her. I'm talking years. She's a baby. Mm. Them niggas 45, 50. Crazy. Crazy. So, um, damn, I forgot what we was talking about, though. I forgot. How it started. How they started. Their, uh, oh, yeah. So, how she, and this is going to be quick. 
she wanted to get on the first of all, she already got on the show. I forgot what the show was, but basically she did a um, you know them uh courses where you like you got to run through water, jump over a, a tire, fucking roll up under yeah, grass, yeah, yeah, yeah. something. So she did something like that. She ended up winning ten thousand dollars. Um, she wanted to move to L.A. Um, America, America, America Ninja. Mm. Um, and then Blueface started promoting his show or whatever. She wanted to be on the show. In the process of being on that show, she was on another one. I can't even think of what it's called. But either way, she got on these shows and started fighting women. She started fighting everybody. Everybody wanted to fight her. She wanted to fight them. Krishan always had like an attitude. A lot of women never liked her. Blah, blah, blah. So um, that's really how that started. It was never like a... I want to go do it to Blueface. That's that's not how that started. Mm-hmm. All right, this is the last comment. I honestly fear she has the potential to murk him. Damn. He clearly has so much mind control over her, and when this jailhouse talk ends and starts treating her poorly again, she's going to flip out. Absolutely. This is a very dangerous relationship. It's incredibly sad. Let me tell y'all something. Last one, somebody said, nah, bro, she definitely the Lulu. Let me tell y'all something. Krishan said if it don't work out this time, she burning his house down. <laughs> Lisa Lopez style. I want y'all to know it's not going to work. This is not going to work. However, I absolutely think the same. But I, n- I never really just thought she could hurt him. I think they'll kill each other. Mm. Period. And I think it'll go down bad. Because Krishan will be a warrior in that moment. Okay? And one thing about it, she ain't no hoe. So, with that being said, um, that is the scariest part. Hopefully, the year don't start off like this and then it end Tragic. with caution tape. You know mm. what I'm saying? For real. Um, she absolutely will. She's going to lose her shit because she believes him. And that's the problem. She truly believes that he's going to get out and change and that's what his mama is afraid of that's why she just put that whole prayer seance in that uh dissertation of a um comment because she's scared she's scared for him and she's scared for her and i think we all should be this shit ain't no joke so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm absolutely done with this video you got anything to say cup yeah no. yeah yeah